Switch me on. Everybody, welcome back to the Proton Pack. It's not a toy. My name is Matt, and today I have a fun unboxing to do for you guys. And uh, this one stems from a contest that I entered and got to be one of the winners for on the social media accounts for Ghostbusters Spirits Unleashed by Ilphonic. Um, they had a contest for people sending pictures of them dressed as a Ghostbuster in groups of one, two, three, or four, or dressed as a ghost, and then they picked winners and announced them on uh, Twitter. And I happened to be one of the winners for this picture. And I made a video about that, announcing it a few weeks ago. And I was surprised to see how quickly that I was able to receive my prize. And so I'm going to open that for you guys here on this video. Um, but first, let me mention that, yes, I am very excited about Ghostbusters Spirits Unleashed. Um, I've shown some of the clips um, to my kids who are very avid video game players, especially on the Xbox. And we're looking forward to having a new version of Ghostbusters to play um, on the next-gen consoles. We've been playing um, the 2009 game a lot. And, um, you know, it's had its time. It's time to have something new and something different to give us a little bit of variety. And um, this game looks pretty cool. And to be able to play it multiplayer and... Um, I'm excited to see the story that, that they tell in the, the game as well. And um, the graphics look pretty cool. And um, it's good to have, like I said, it's good to have a, a new Ghostbusters game that looks like it's high quality and top notch. And uh, again, I thank them for selecting me as one of their winners. And I can't wait to play it. It's supposed to come out at the end of this year. If you haven't checked it off, checked it out already, Go online and look for Ghostbusters Spirits Unleashed um, or follow Ilphonic on Twitter and uh, you'll be able to see a lot of the details there. Uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and crack open to this to see the prize that I won with my knife fork. Here we go. I use these at work all the time and then when they get dull, I'll bring them home. Maybe I should use a good one at home. It is packaged well. And there's quite a bit of tape. I think if I just get the bottom up, it'll slide out. Big reveal. The prize for the contest winners was this. Ghostbusters Proton Pack Deluxe Replica Quality with Light and Sound Features. Um, this is basically the upgraded Spirit Halloween Proton Pack. Um, and it is labeled as uh, Spirit here on the bottom here, and then Spirit Halloween's website. So I know these came out, I believe last year, and as soon as they were in stock, a couple of days later, they were gone. And so they went quickly. They're an upgraded version of the Spirit Pack that's been out for years. I happen to have one of those here to compare to the one that I have just opened and so we'll do that as we go along but this is the spirit pack that most of us are familiar with a lot of people like to use these as their uh, number one pack and do a lot of modding and stuff to it make it look a little more accurate to um, the movies it is smaller scale than uh, a real proton pack uh, prop replica it's about 85 percent the size of one of those um, and this one will be about the same size as well. Um, but let's get this one out of the box 
and then we can compare and see the upgrades they've made to the deluxe one. Again, I was excited to get this so quickly. I thought there might be a, um, a wait time for it just because um, how long or how much these have been out of stock. Slide right now on this. The thing that I noticed from the get go that is an improvement are these olive drive straps with the padding for the uh, shoulder straps. Now, again, these aren't, this isn't an Alice frame, these aren't Alice straps, but it's an improvement on the black straps that basically look like a backpack that came on the original version of the Spirit Pack. I'll show you from the back here. So not only does it have adjustable in two different places shoulder straps, but it also has adjustable, not a kidney pad, but the waist belt and a clip that goes on there as well. So that is an improvement, not only for function and wearability, but for the aesthetics of it as well. It makes it look more like a genuine Ghostbusters proton pack. Not exactly, but for what you get, you get what you pay for. This is what's supposedly, supposed, supposedly, there we go, a uh, $80 item. So for that much, I think that's a very good improvement. The previous one, it had a green wire instead of this black um, loom going from the clippered elbow. So that's an improvement in aesthetics as well. Um, I do like the improvement on the ribbon cable colors as well. So the uh, shock mount looks a little bit almost, it's very light gray, almost looks translucent. Here, let me get the other one up here so we can compare. So you can kind of see some of the differences. And then you know, one of the things as I hold them up next to each other that I notice immediately now is the red lights on the cyclotron, the lenses on this one on the new one compared to the kind of translucent gray look or white look of the previous edition. Um, this one also had kind of a blue power cell lens that didn't quite go all the way to the top, while the new one has just kind of a blank, uh, like I said, kind of a gray white kind of look to it. So. Overall, uh, I do like the look of the new one better. It does look like the wand is about the same scale, um, but the hose that comes out, not the hose, but the, the clear tube that comes out at the end is actually clear and not that opaque. Um, kind of gray color. All right, so just like the other one, it does have kind of a foam backing here instead of a metal motherboard, which is nice because it doesn't have an Alice frame, so it's cushioned on your back. Uh, this is the battery pack. It takes three AA batteries, the same as the older version did. And A little scratch right there I'm gonna check out but um to activate the sounds there is a button on the wand and I've got the batteries in the other one as well so first let's start with the older one to see what the sounds and lights look like on it and we'll compare that to the new one 
So there's the other version. On off switch is right here. There we go. Blinking lights here, blinking lights here, blinking light here. So it does blink red there and shows up blue there, white here. All right, should be ready to go and on. Rotating cyclotron light. Almost appears that the blue one does go up and down a little bit. And I like the sound version better on this one as well. And it has a power down sound. So it actually turns off. If you leave the other one going, it'll just keep going as far as I know. So the electronics in it, the lights and sounds are very much an improvement on this newer one. Uh, the only gripe that I still have is they didn't make an adjustment to the uh, connecting point here where you would have a V hook. That might be something that I add to this one, otherwise I probably won't make any changes to it just because it does fall off so easily. Um, we had the same issues with the other pack with it falling off a lot. And uh, I would end up putting tape on that nub so that it had a little more friction and it would hold on there. It would still fall off um, semi-regularly. So that's the only real gripe I've ever had with these packs. Um, they're not intended to be 100% accurate, and but they do the trick. If you wanna be a Ghostbuster for Halloween, or you wanna have something for your kids to wear when you're at cons, or wear it for yourself when you're at a con, and not worry about your personal proton pack being messed up, then this is a good option for you. If you can find them for 80 bucks, if you can find them in stock anywhere, I think they're well worth the value and um, they have made quite a bit of improvement over the first version so i'm excited to have this in hand um, like i said got a little spot here and could be buffed out but we're going to call it weathering because that's what we do in the ghostbusters community right um, so again thank you so much to ilphonic and ghostbusters spirits unleashed and their social media team for sending me this and picking me to be one of the winners. I'm uh, very grateful and very thankful to have this. Um, me personally, this will probably be something that I do, like I said, hang on for my kids to wear when I'm out with my full size pack. They'll have this ready to go and uh, it'll look pretty legit. And um, nobody's gonna mistake what you're supposed to be, right? So happy to have it. Um, people that won the contest that had two, three, or four people with them, they would actually win that many of these. So if, congratulations to whoever had the group of four. They got four of these. So that's really cool. So um, again, thank you so much to the Spirits Unleashed team. Looking forward to playing the game and um, being able to use this pack out in public uh, as soon as I get a chance to. So thank you guys for watching. Have a good day, and I'll see you in the next one.